What up, guys? Uh, today is the 7th of July, and um, due to uh, due to my lower back, hip, glute area that I mentioned in the previous video, um, I'm kind of lost. Not lost, but more frustrated than anything as far as uh, what my leg training is going to be and what it's going to consist of. Probably going to do a lot of like uh, single leg uh, hypertrophy. Uh, and higher rep ranges for uh, like I'll do like lunges on the machine to start and uh, calves gonna hit the tibialis machine we'll see cuz I'm supposed to go I'm gonna go to the uh, not 24-hour fitness I'm gonna go to the, uh, the other gym I go to KO fitness but there is a ton of traffic I decided to leave at uh, at 4 o'clock which is uh really stupid idea <laughs> but we'll see if it's uh, if it's really bad I'll just I'll just exit the freeway and I'll go to 24-hour fitness which they don't have the tippy Alice machine but we'll see it's gonna be a lot of instinctive training today didn't really write anything out so it's gonna be a lot of instinctive training today which will be uh, kind of a nice change of pace so we'll see uh, I'll try to do leg press um, if that doesn't uh, that doesn't hurt my lower back, if it does, I'm just gonna stop right away. We'll see. All right, guys, stay tuned. Hey, I made it. Traffic wasn't that bad. I'm hanging upside down right now on a uh, basically it's a spinal decompression machine. So I'll be here for like two minutes. Excuse the blood rushing to my head. All right, guys. So the nice thing about, um, I guess, the nice thing about not having to uh, worry about squats first is I, uh, sh I'm able to do something that I should have been doing a long time ago, which is focus on my. Eye. Sorry, got cut off. The important thing is to focus on my tibialis and my calves. Um, if you haven't been following me or you knew, uh, had a couple surgeries, but uh, the particular one I'm talking about on this leg is um, I tore my Achilles, and uh, I've never had uh, never had the same stretch reflex or range of motion ever since surgery. So uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm supersetting. It's my last set of supersetting calves and uh, the anterior tibialis machine. So I'll show you what it is. So it's otherwise known as like toe up. Yeah guys, so I'm trying to tell you, um, it's hard for me to, uh, to even do near the weight I was doing. Like this is all I got on the seated calf machine. Um, I was taking a sneak peek. So that's the bad one. Hopefully you can see that. And then that's the good one. That's the one without surgery. It's the leg without surgery. Uh, so I was actually starting to do this already, which is focus uh, on that in the beginning of my workouts. And uh, as you saw, I got pretty decent size and shape or whatever on both my calves, even the bad one. Um, but uh, like I said, range of motion, it's hard for me to go through. So I could stack weight on there. I could stack like 345s on there or whatnot. But it's, and the majority of it's going to be just my right. Um, my right calf doing all the work, which uh, defeats the purpose because I want to be able to get sense and uh, get my range of motion back in my other one. 
So it's kind of due to uh, stop going to physical therapy pretty quickly um, at the physical therapy place because I uh, asked them to push me a few times and we didn't do anything. They just did cap raises. So paying, paying like what, 20 bucks, 15, 20 bucks, two or three visits a week adds up quick. They weren't pushing me, weren't doing anything. Like I could do this stuff at home. So what I need to do uh, is kind of what I'm doing anyway right now. A lot of unilateral stuff. Uh, so now I'm going to do uh, uh, toes pointed out. Toes pointed out and then toes pointed in. So I'm going to do three sets of ten on each. And then uh, do some standing cap raises and go from there. Okay guys, so I did three sets of ten inside and outside. And then what I'm finishing with is uh, occlusion training. So basically, uh, got like a knee wrap um, tied around my calf. And uh, do uh, four total sets. One high set of uh, 25, which I'm going right now. Um, with like half the weight. And uh, what you do is you rest 15 to 30 seconds and then do uh, against higher reps. So I go uh, three more sets of 15. And then what that allows you to do is pump blood into the muscle. And then over, uh, I think it's like a 24 hour period. Um, sorry, I might have a bad word, but pump blood into the muscle. And then um, it doesn't allow blood flow back. You can see. Uh, you can see that but it's getting pretty pumped. And uh, so what it allows you to do is pump blood into the muscle, but the, muscle, the blood does not go out. And uh, over a 24-hour period, it allows more blood flow. Uh, which is basically what I need um, on an injury like this. So, I'll be back. Everything feels good. You do uh, just some old school workouts I used to do for legs. So, uh, I'm do leg press right now. Feels pretty good. I just did a warm up set. I'm gonna do um, 60, three sets of 60 total reps. So, uh, what I do is 20 at the bottom, 20. Um, place my feet in the middle and then 20 at the top. Uh, we'll see what the weight is. Probably just probably do one full set of this before I actually um, get into my working sets just to see where I'm at. So kind of like a pre-exhaust. Uh, let's get it. Okay, so the warm-up set was fairly heavy. I haven't done that in a while, so it's uh Humbling. That's the word I'm looking for. So I record this set so I can show you uh, what a full set looks like. Hey guys, so the point of this particular exercise is um, basically to hit every single part of your legs um, in one set. So the lower you have your legs, um, the more it's going to hit your quads. As you move it up towards the middle, you're going to be kind of working um, overall, you're going to be working quads and then starting to include a little bit of your hamstrings and glutes. And then once you're done with that second set or that second round and you move your feet up to the top, you're going to be working uh, primarily your hamstrings and your glutes. So it is killer. Uh, those are not 45 pound plates are there, those are 100 pound plates on there. Uh, it is kind of light, but still, uh, it is killer. So go ahead and try it out and see how you like it. First part about that exercise is right when you're done with your first set of 20 or whatever, and you're moving on to the second set, like the blood is just rushing in. Uh, another part of, uh, like another part of your leg. Can't even think straight right now. Basically what I'm trying to say is every set sucks worse than the previous one because the blood is just rushing already uh, from your previous set and then you're just moving that blood into another area. Uh, 
All right, guys. So moving on from the leg press and doing leg extensions now. As I've mentioned in the past videos, uh, leg extensions for me are not one of those exercises that uh, hurts my knees. A lot of people, when they do leg extension, they hurt their knees. Uh, I personally think it's dependent on where you place your torso, um, the seat, and how high you're going up on leg press. Like if you're locking out, there's, that's the reason that your knees are hurting doing leg press. Uh, so sometimes I kind of like wing this as I'm doing single leg leg press. Uh, I'll do one leg at a time at a very light weight and, uh, and then just kind of gauge. Um, on the other sets, I did increase the reps, sorry, the, the, uh, the weight. So what I'll do is I'll do one leg at a time and then I'll finish off with uh, increasing the weight and doing, uh, uh, excuse me, doing both legs at the same time. last exercise on deck for this particular leg day is going to be uh, single leg lunges. Now, on this particular day, I decided to, to do it on a machine. Uh, and the reason for that being is uh, it's easier for me to push my ego aside on this, not really worried about the weight. What I'm trying to do here uh, is push through my glutes and hamstrings uh, and keep my again just like a squat keep my knees in line with the outside of my toes uh, I could have easily increased the weight and gone a lot heavier uh, but I wouldn't have been doing the exercise correctly so again the whole point of this uh, of me doing this is so that I can uh, actually focus on the muscle and you can even kind of see the hamstring working right there but um, focus on the muscle and incorporate the correct muscle get that neuromuscular efficiency going uh, so that it can translate to other things such as the squat so that's that's it for this video guys Put the ego aside when you're doing a lot of these exercises, a lot of assistance exercises. Nobody cares how much you PR on a calf raise or whatnot. As always, guys, don't forget to like my Instagram, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Fatty Massey checking out.